Hey guys, Mark Fresh, Pro Tech Dog Training. Now, so every day you come out, you kind of figure out your criteria. And if you were watching yesterday, I started adding a duration marker and getting him to do down. He's got the sit pretty wide. So we're going to start adding in his word, Aussie, and start giving him Aussie and Couché and that, adding in the words to the things that he knows now, right? Start also starting to stretch that time level a little bit. Nope. Yeah. Number one. Eros. Good boy. Right? Nope. Good. Eros. Yep. Good boy. <laughs> Dog's name preparatory to our explosion release is going to end up being pre dog's name preparatory to that uh, explosion release or a command, an action command, right? A movement. Any type of movement. Eros. Kusha. Good. So we're going to add the words in now. Later, as he gets a little bit more mature, I'm going to start asking him to make sure he stays straight up. That puppy slouching. We'll work on that, but I won't do it now because I don't think he's, he's uh, learning to accept consequences right now. And then again, because he's starting to get to be a little brat, we're starting to add some corrections in for certain things that he does. Like this morning, I was having a little video going and I ended up deleting it. But what I ended up having him do is dive in underneath the fence to go after ho horse turds. Dogs love horse dookie for whatever reason. So he dove in and went after that horse dookie and uh, wasn't a good thing. So I corrected him pretty good. And he, that was one of those first times in, in a very applicable way that he's happened to learn about consequences. Now there's a, a lot of trainers out there in the world and there's some that do what they call all, all positive. All they're using is a clicker and food and they have no corrections. And I don't believe in that. I believe that, that we all live in a world of consequence, either positive or negative, right? If something good happens, then that's a positive consequence. If you do the wrong thing, and it's really easy for, for most folks to understand this, but the rule with that is that it's got to be short and sweet, done and over with, with no emotional outlet. Okay? So in that regards, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, show the dog that he's done the right thing, but timing is real critical, right? It's kind of like a hot cold, right? So if I walk through the door and I smack my head on the top of the door because I'm a tall guy and the door's a little small, how long is it going to take me to learn to bend to get up underneath that door? Nothing, okay? Every animal on God's green earth learns this way, right? So correction is put into my, my uh, training, but it's also very balanced. That's why you call me a balanced trainer. I'm using a lot of positive food, toys, all kinds of other things. Get the dog into, speaking of which, I need a toy for him. Um, but at the same time, we have that other side that we do teach the dog. There are consequences in the world. I'm doing. I'm going dog's name preparatory to that explosion release. So the dog's name, pause, and then explosion, right? So we're setting it up on purpose so we can teach the dog and convey the thought to him that when he hears his name, something else is coming. And it's an action. So he'll start learning to wait for it. So his maturity level's at that spot, and I've got enough built in that I can start working on conveying this next stop. And if you've been watching my videos, you've been seeing me do it the whole time, but he hasn't been responsive to it because he doesn't know it. Now I'll start emphasizing it because his brain's a little bit more awake with age and maturity. Eros, nope, nope, nope. Kusha, Kusha, good. Yeah, you have to go, good boy. Eros, yep. Good. And I want him to stay down, but that's all right. Now we're going to bend him. Yeah, you have to go. Power of twos and threes and mix up, right? 
Loosen things up. Nope. Nope. Notice he's a little weak going this way. So I'm going to do more of this now and start trying to add in this direction to get him more proficient at it before he gets stuck and not able to do it as much. He's got to be able to go both ways. Yeah. Notice him wanting the food. I don't give it to him until he does what I want. We keep that consistent philosophy up. Yep. And he'll get it. Yep. toys so I can break into some play and some fun, right? Keep it short and sweet and keep building on your pattern. So now I've got a pattern built in for the next stage. I'm doing, um, getting him used to preparatory to the command, dog's name, the pause, and then the explosion. I'm mixing on the table, the bowls, I'm bending him more, getting him more and more used to it, and I'm going to start adding the words to the action. So now we're going to have an AC, we're going to have a couche. Yeah, you don't add the word until after you've got the behavior in. Uh, a lot of trainers have a philosophy of having it perfect before they give the dog the word. I don't, I don't really care about it. I can brush up on perfect as I go along. Good boy, good, Eros. Good boy, good, Eros. Yep, come on. And that pause, if you notice, the pause is a lot like that down and the pause duration marker that I'm setting in, right? Because we're conveying the thought for him that knows something's coming. So when I was doing the duration marker, I'm setting at a time level, right? Whatever it is, 30 seconds right away, I go, good, good. The same time level every time. And then I'll do the same thing with his name, preparatory to that explosion release, and there'll be a time level in that. So I'm teaching him to understand that. He's, that teaches the dog to wait, have patience, it's coming, and to be anticipatory. So he's, he's like a coiled spring, and then boing, that's how I get my speed. And I build it in when they're babies like this, and I keep working on it until the dog, that's how I get my dog to do things quickly. We don't have to correct him into it. We just have to condition him into it properly. So, all right, Mark Farashi, Protect Dog Training with Eros. Yay, Eros, good. And we'll see you the next time. Thank you much, Mark.